Today, I'm gonna tell you a story with something like this. I started skating around 30 years ago and when I first started skating everything was like roller skates, right? There was no inline skates back in the early 80s. So when I first started, I started with roller skates. Then I used roller skates for speed skating. I started speed skating when I was five and I did it till I was, till I was like 18 or something like that. And meanwhile, when I was 15, that's when inline skating first showed up in Portugal. So I started from the beginning. And when I first started inline skating, I also started using the streets. And that's basically when I started street skating. I ended up stopped skating with this. I don't know why. I, maybe I never thought that I could use these ones. To skate the streets, ramps, rails, whatever. I don't know. I know that I didn't use them. But I also know that around three years ago, in one of my trips to Barcelona to, to ride my bike, back then I went, the, I went to Barcelona to, to do a, a promo for Inui. I remember speaking with the main guy from Inui, his name is Kenneth. He does a lot of product development for Parslide. And I told him it would be cool if I, if I could get some roller skates and I would, I would just try some stuff because I used to be able to skate them and I remember back in the day, like when I was like 16, 17, every time that my inline skates would break, I would put my roller skates on and I would do some tricks. I remember back in 96, I could do unities with roller skates, which is when you cross your feet and you slide with your feet crossed on rails. And well, from that moment I tried to get some skates, I ended up buying some skates from Totogali with fat trucks and really nice blocks and I started using them and one week later after using them I, I made a little video which I'm going to put now. And that little video had so, so much good feedback and, and then I heard about this competition in Spain and I went to that event in Spain and I think I got second or third, like after two, three weeks of skating and, and that's when I also, that's when I met Michelle, Michelle Stalin and I was supposed to go to California one or two weeks after that contest and I did. But because I knew Michelle from the week before in that contest in Spain, we ended up connecting in, in California and I stayed with her for like two weeks. And Michelle told me she really wanted to learn how to backflip. So I told her, I think I know someone in, Wood, in Woodward that might be able to let us in and that's like the perfect place for you to, to get in and, and learn how to backflip. I'll go and I'll spend some time with you and I'll make you, do, I'll make you backflip those ramps and I'll make you do them. You know how to do it, you're way better at gymnastics than I am and I can do backflips so I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to. And so we did, we went to Woodward. The first two days, the main goal was to have Michelle doing a backflip. Nothing can go wrong. No, with this, like, there's over rotation. Nothing else, like, the thing is, you're speeding already. Just have no doubt, like, wipe the fear away. Yeah. Ow! Play on something else. Nah, you gotta land it now.
she did it so easy because she's just amazing on skates. Then we ended up skating a little bit more. We ended up skating more ramps and more different things. Uh, it was, I think it was the first time that Michelle met Miguel. Miguel Ramos from Woodward. Now they're like good friends and it's cool to see like somehow you're like the connecting point for friendships and it's cool. After, after Woodward we ended up going to, um, to Long Beach and we had like lots of conversations, a lot of ideas that we, of stuff we wanted to do with roller skates. We never really started anything together when it comes to roller skates but man, Michelle is being super successful with Moxie. I've been working with, with the brand that makes these skates, Kaya. I think we, we went different ways, but the truth is I think we both love roller skating and it's cool to see what Michelle is doing. I'm trying to push roller skating in a different way, but we're good friends and we ended up enjoying some really cool sessions in California. She took me to some really cool spots.
it was cool because I ended up meeting some of my fixed gear friends and they all wanted to try the roller skates. So I ended up giving my my roller skates to some of the best fixed gear riders back then. Do it. No, no, don't do one. Ah, got it. Try it out. I'm still gonna try it. It's <laughs> so fucking hard, dude. Oh, you just did it. Hey, John. Hey. Hey. He hey. looks like he's walking. I can't turn these things. Three. Yeah, it's harder than regular. No. Three. Three. First try. Three. First try. Seven. Three. Holy shit, it's going fast. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> And other than that, we ended up also skating the Venice Beach Skate Park. I wish I would have stayed longer, but the truth is I have never I have never came back to California. If if you ask me, do I miss it? Well, I like the California weather, but I really live in a place where I can't complain about weather. I live in Cape Town, the weather is amazing. Uh, I have this place, this office, my shop in a skate park. I can't really complain about life nowadays. I might need to session one of these days in California. I might go with my wife, which now roller skates too. And, that's the world. It goes around and around and we end up meeting more people and connecting, making friends here, making friends there and in the end we're all for the same, for the love of wheels and we all, what we really want is to have fun and I think that's the main reason why we all started and that's the main reason why we all do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a lot more, especially next week I plan on doing some how to videos on roller skates. And by the way, I'm gonna meet Michelle soon next month. We're both gonna be in Europe, so we're gonna let's see what we do. <laughs> we might be able to get some, some cool stuff together too. So, if this is the first video that you've seen in this channel, subscribe to this channel. You might be able to see more of these roller skating videos, inland skating videos, bicycle videos, my life videos, traveling videos, whatever. I'm just this is my place. I hope you like it. If you don't, sorry about that. But if you do, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Boof! Vou viver até quando...